What's up guys? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about sound effects and what actually goes into a lot of the videos that I'm making. I truly believe I learned early on that sound and audio is 50% of the viewing process. So if you're losing that sound, you're losing half of what you could be giving to your audience. You know, obviously the visuals are, are really what people are watching, but if you don't have that audio, what's the point? Imagine watching your favorite movies and muting it the entire time. Sure, you're still gonna get all the special effects, the drama, the action, the romance, all those kinds of things, but if you don't have that audio, what's the point? You're not gonna be able to really experience what the true emotion is. The music behind a lot of the videos does go into play, but it's what the sound effects are actually adding that really draws everything together. So I have here uh, the River Road video that we just recently wrapped up. Um, and the project I'm showing you is actually the first draft of what we did because we went through and you know cut a lot of different shots out, um, narrowed it down to 30 seconds instead of a minute. But I thought that the original draft would be a good example to give you on what actually goes into all the audio that we're looking at. Now I'm not gonna go through my entire sound design process because that would take forever, hours and hours of, of research and looking for different things. But I wanna give you just a quick insight as to what goes down behind these videos. Whenever I go into a project like this, I do what I call a pre-edit first. So I'll actually plan all the music ahead of time, pick out the actual things that I wanna use, and then I'll go in and you know, grab videos and, and Google pictures and stuff like that and eventually just essentially just create a storyboard for the client. So that way they can sign off and say, yes, this is the vision that we want, so let's go ahead and shoot it. Um, I like to be very efficient on my actual shoot day so I'm not wasting their time, I'm not wasting my time. I wanna know every single shot and get extra shots. The one thing that is really difficult to do though on set is to capture every single sound effect. And sometimes even when you do capture the sound effect, it's not as convincing or it's not as grand as something I would want in the video. So when I come into the editing room and I put everything together, I actually want to put a lot more into the sound design than I do anything else because again, that is 50%. That's what's really gonna have the audience fully immersed in my videos. So let's jump into it. So taking a look at this video, the whole concept was a group of people that just really suck at trying to get to the river and go floating. We were going into it with the mindset of a National Lampoon's vacation meets, you know, airplane, some of those 80s slapstick comedy where something happens and, you know, other people have to react to it in the background. And so if you really watch the video, there's a lot of things happening in almost every scene. There's, there's always something funny or weird. And so it's interesting to try to capture all those sounds or just think about, hmm, what sounds would that make? So first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the full video with music and sound design. And then what we're gonna do is go back, take the music out, I'm gonna show you the sound design, play the sound design, and then put the music back in and see how much it really changes for you. All right, so here's the full final product video. <laughs> curious as to how much actual sound design you heard. There's some things that I know for a fact that you heard, but there's some things that are a little more subtle that you probably might not have heard of, but at the same time, if they were not in the video, it would change the whole concept of the video. So going back and looking at everything, um, what I'm gonna do now is take all the music out and then talk about the sound design. So the first thing when it comes to sound design that I try to look at is the setting. So if I'm looking at a specific background, I want to put the viewer in that background, right? So this is a whole thing that's based around the river. So I need to have different water sounds. So um, anytime that I see water in the video, I wanna make sure that there's some type of flowing water sound or whatever is gonna match that situation. Um, so I have two or three different water sequences within this video 
each one of them at a different volume per shot. So right here, this opening shot is right up next to the water. So I want that to be pretty predominant. So you can hear that in the opening scene. As if we were right there, right? Okay, moving to the next shot, and I'm not gonna go through every single shot, but moving to the next shot, obviously we're not in the water anymore. So why would I have a water sound? So that fades out. I have more of a slow motion effect since he's slowly putting a shirt on. Um, as he's putting these clothes on, there's a little bit of fabric roughening through there and then you'll notice on the next scene he's going to be walking out towards his friends and we're going to be in the woods or in this foresty kind of area so i want you to feel like you're in that area so take a listen to the ambient sounds that happen after he's done putting his clothes on You know, so every single action needs to have an effect. How loud that effect is just depends on how close the camera is, what I want to actually be heard and what I want to just be surrounding noise. So some shots, you'll have a little more focus on that sound effect since that's kind of the gag at the moment. And some, it's just a really subtle, like his footsteps or a couple other things that you'll see within the video. So keep that in mind as you're listening. You're listening for both the, the setting of where you're at as well as the actions that are happening and then the background actions. So that's what's explaining all of these other sound bites that you're seeing within the bottom of this whole sequence. So now what I wanna do is play for you the entire thing, no music, just sound effects, and see how much you actually are immersed within this video. Cool. So again, the settings are constantly changing in the background as far as whether they're, you know, in a foresty area by the river. Those are really the only two things I kind of used. Um, I used two different water sequences and two different um, nature sequences. So some is more of crickets and bugs in the background. Some's more of, you know, you can hear the birds chirping and stuff like that in the background. Another thing you'll notice is distance from the water. So for example, in the shot where we have the angry guy that's getting upset because he's wearing a don't mess with Texas shirt and they're spilling garbage all over the, the ground, you'll hear that there is a little bit of distant ambient water sound, but we're farther away from the water, so I'm not gonna have that as a predominant sound. So take a listen to that in the background. It's very faint, but it's there. And then as we are actually in the water, and this was fun to shoot standing in freezing cold water, but as we're in the water, it gets a little bit louder, but as we get more and more into the river, you'll notice that the actual water effect is getting louder and louder. <laughs> and by the end of it, it almost sounds like you're right next to a babbling brook, you know, with the, the birds chirping in the background. A couple other things that I added, I added two of these, but we added a, a subtle dark bass hit so the last one is the the outro of the entire thing, the very last shot. So I wanted to have that last oomph in there. So you'll hear that bass sound as we hit that last shot. Right? We also had another one in the sequence where the girls are coming out of the garage with the raft. Um, the music's a little bit more upbeat because it's kind of a beast mode looking moment for the girls. So I just wanted to add that extra oomph to it. So the second he takes his glasses off, you hear that bass, right? So putting all of this together, if I were to play just the music without the sound effects, take a listen as to what this would actually sound like. Okay, so here is the entire sequence without sound effects, just the music. <laughs>
So the video still gets the point across, it's still entertaining, but how much is actually lost when we don't have those sound effects in there? So now, once again, I invite you to listen to the entire final product of everything and what this actually does for you sound effects wise and the importance of having sound effects in the background. So here we go, the final product once more, music, sound effects in. Now that you know and you see and you're aware of some of the things that I like to do when it comes to the sound effects, let's see how that actually affects what you're listening to. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's a little bit into my sound design process. I hope you have a little bit more insight as to what goes into a lot of these videos and why they are at the high production value that they are. If you'd like to see more videos and my process of how I actually create and design and produce my videos, just drop a comment below and let me know what you think. And if you have any other questions, please let me know.